As I said, as animals spending a lot of time striding along on the ground, Quetzalcoatlus lengthened the walking portion of their limb at the expense of the finger portion. This toy's wings correctly have relatively short fingers, but it overdoes it. It's really only the outer wing phalanges, the outer finger bones, that are super short. The first one is still pretty long. About half the length of the wing is just arm and hand. Exactly what that means for the animal's flight mechanics does require some legwork. No pun intended. As far as I know, the first three fingers of the hand would be palm forward when the animal's in flight, or, or maybe slightly ventrally deflected, but it would not have this, like, secondary wrist that most of these toys have. The metacarpals stay close to the big wing metacarpal. This toy also portrays very little muscle on the bones. It's true that overall their arms were these slender, wiry things, but there was muscle there and there was a soft tissue wedge of, of fibrous tissues surrounding an air pocket around the bones, creating this, like, fairing. And that would have been fairly deep in the proximal part of the arm. They were, they were not just fuzzy twigs. 